Okay, so I just wanted to make a video on my bushcraft kit. This is probably, well, I find it's quite uh, a cheap kit. There's nothing super fancy about it, and it's more tool uh, orientated. There's not a lot of like cooking uh, utensils in there, or no crazy pots and pans or shelter materials. It's pretty much just to build whatever you need uh, in the woods. So I'm going to start off here by just the obvious. I have a rifle here because on my land there's a lot of <clears throat> moose, but this is mostly for just for bears. I have something bigger from for moose if there's ever anything. So, and this is the most expensive part of the kit. It's the most expensive gun that I have as of now. It's just a uh, a Marlin uh, 44 Magnum. I have a browning horsehair sling on it. I just thought it looked cool. The sling, uh, it was $60, I think. Uh, I added a focus here, just a a, lever, uh, a wrap on a lever, and stay. That's a bear claw. Uh, so yeah, I'll get that out of the way. I think the gun. Well, I paid the gun no tax, 750 brand new. I'm I'm more focused on like older guns and the uh, well, just just 1800 style guns. <clears throat> so the older they are, the better for me. But whatever. I just came across this one and I bought it. So this axe. I'd say it's like my backpacking axe. I, I don't know who made it, but if I could focus in on here. It's made in Sweden. Probably paid it 10 bucks at a flea market. I added the, uh, the measurements. It has an 18 inch handle on it. Let's get the boring stuff out of the way here. Uh, like I said, this is just my, my cooking stuff to cook stuff is just pots and pans that I, I don't really bring. I mean, I kind of bring it in winter if I want to make something, but uh, yeah. And this is a pouch. This is Sea Lion. I got it at the flea market. I don't know how much this was. I think it was like 20 bucks. With this one, this here, I just keep I'm trying to do everything one-handed. I didn't put the camera on a tripod. It's just my 44 ammo. So that's a whole matching kit with this one. Then this one is just my, my EDC. I have this every day. Just an OPNL knife. And I don't see this in a lot of kits, but uh this is some bug dope from uh Dave Canterbury's video that he made about it. I find it works. I made it. I, f I find it it's pretty decent. Then I have a blanket there. It's not that big, but I use it as like a floor mat. If I need anything, I think that was probably 20 bucks. If say Canadian military blanket, I think it's 75% wool, and the rest is polyester or something else. <clears throat> yeah, so get that out of the way. And then the pack is a, a, a Czech ruck, rucksack that I paid five bucks, which that was a bargain. So that's what I mean, guys. Like, I mean, most of this stuff is pretty cheap. But I modified it, in five bucks plus shipping. I ordered it online. I have these leather straps that came from England. Why is it not focusing? Uh, okay, well, whatever. Yeah, these straps came from England. And I added, back up here, an A-frame to it. Just because it gives you better uh, back support. And this comes off a Swedish engineer pack, I want to say. The A-frame that I have two of, so I cut it out of the, the that pack and I uh, put two Chicago screws on the leather straps and I just made it hold. <clears throat> and most of this stuff in here is like homemade and I just, I just make it myself. Let's see, I'll go over the contents of that after. Then my belt here. This is a beaver pouch that I just purchased yesterday. And it has it has slots in it. I might cut those out so it's one big pouch. But I have my my ferro rod in here. The belt itself is super good quality leather. 
I paid it five bucks at a flea market. This knife, I got it handmade for me in BC. It came with the sheath, I just added this stuff. That's some deer antler with a, a bear claw. <clears throat> then, that's just a knife. It's razor sharp, that's usually how I keep my stuff. Okay, and in here, I'll put, well, whatever I need usually. But now, <clears throat> I just made a shell holder out of cardboard. There's just, uh, there's some buckshot in there. Heavy game loads and birdshot. When I carry my shotgun. And this is some 4082s for my other gun. That I said if there's moose or something. It's a bit bigger caliber than a 44. <clears throat> so that's what I carry around. And then that's just the belt. And I think the knife, I'm going to try to go over prices if I remember. The knife was 200 I think. Super good quality knife, 01 tool steel. The pouch, this thing, I mean I just got it because I don't go very often at that location. But it was 50 bucks I think, it was 45 99 uh, So, you know, whatever. It's a cool looking beaver pouch so I got it. I could have just made one myself because I have beaver pelts but whatever. Okay, now for the bag. Actually, I'll, I'll cut and I'll <clears throat> lay everything out. Alright, so first things first is that I have just a cup that I made, a Kuxa cup. I don't know what this is, I think it's like oak or birch maybe, I'm not sure. In here I just have like a $5 canteen that I got in an army surplus store. And in here, this little pouch my fire kit, which is just char cloth, fat wood, jute twine, uh, flint and steel. I, I usually just use my lighters that I bring, or matches, matches actually most of the time. Then this too, guaranteed source of fire, unless it's like minus 50, they don't work when it's super, super cold. And since I'm in Canada, well, it happens, it's super, super cold. This is just a jelly stove, alcohol stove. You just put a match or a lighter in there and it just flames up right away. So that's good to have. Just to start a fire or to cook if you want. But I use it to start fires. And I have some uh, pine resin glue. I forgot what this is called. But yeah, it's glue. You could just put this in the fire and it's going to come all liquid again. And also in the pack, just to make a bucket style. Man, it's dark. Uh, in here I just added a leather bucket. It's not even real leather, it's fake. I think I found this somewhere on the side of the road or something. It was a purse, like I cut the handles off and uh, I just made a, a bucket style pack with it. And it's not that heavy. So here I have a saw, a cheap saw, a foldable saw. I don't know, I paid it probably like 10 bucks. It does the job. Uh, I have, in here I have like some screwdrivers, some lighters. Just random little tools. I think I have like a small multi-tool in here. In here, this pouch. That's just a canvas, canvas pouch that I made myself. Nothing nothing special here. Cheaply made. Uh, I have a sewing kit. Some nails in a candy jar. And... What else do I have? Well, that's just a strap if I want to make a haversack out of this. Oh, and my sharpening stone. That's that's pretty much it. Just a sharpening stone. <clears throat> and, uh, is that it? Oh, yeah. I have another fair serum rod here. That's matches. And I have some fixing wax in there. I'm not going to reach for it, but it's in there somewhere. I don't have fixing wax. My battery's going to die. And then it's, this is my little hatchet belt axe that I use the most, that I got at the flea market. It was $20, I think. But, but it looked cool, so I got it. I don't know where it was made or who made it, but it looks hand forged and 
keeps the edge really well. And in here, that's an old tobacco tin. That's just tinder material, nothing special. And I just have a big rope if I need to shelter or whatever. And this is a cheap Pakistani knife that I keep as my second blade. I'll probably make a video on that later. And then that's just a tool roll. I have files in there. A gimlet to make holes if I need to make holes for anything. Uh, a wood chisel, a round file, a flat file, and uh, a pencil. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So, all in all, I mean, it's a pretty, it's a pretty decent kit. It's pretty much tool based. I don't have a tarp. I don't have anything. So, uh, yeah, I'll end it here. It was just supposed to be a quick video.